Hello and welcome to my detour wall edition in my piston series. Today we'll be taking a look at instant gravel walls made with pistons and their potential uses in more dynamic PvP arenas. So what I've set up here is basically a castle that I built in SMP and SM SSP and I in imported it from my uh, legit SSP world and then I sort of lengthened it by about eight or so so I had to distort it a bit remove the uh, better looking middle area and replace it with some cobble and um, some more gravel on the outside edge and what this is going to do is just use the gravel that we have here to build walls to change the way this map would work. I've turned this castle basically into a self-sustaining PvP map that is positioned above the ground pretty high. You'd probably want lava or something so that people didn't uh, survive no matter what sort of tricks they may pull, but this basically works by simply applying some power to some pistons underneath the gravel and then catching them, catching the stacks of gravel with other pistons. So it's a very simple concept and I'm sure a lot of people have figured it out by now. But it's, <clears throat> it's the uses in PvP arenas that I want to uh, take a bit more uh, of an exploration into. So. I have a control panel that sort of models out the floor underneath and I consider this sort of the puppet master's booth where you would pull the redstone laced strings that are tied to your PvP arena. And I've modeled using uh, colored wool, I've modeled out the various components of the um, of the uh, gravel wall system we have down there so that the pink is a middle wall the purple is the end wall there so right there's the middle wall and then beside it is the end walls and then we have corners which are marked by yellow and it's pretty simple you just flick a switch and that will feed power to the pistons underneath them and then you flick the power switch and it will provide uh, the power needed to actually uh, start up the system. That way if you want you can uh, sort of set up everything you need and then flick the switch. That way you don't have lag for every time you flip a switch. You only have lag whenever you flip the main power switch. And so uh, you can do it without, though. As long as you just flip the switch on, you can start flipping them at any time. So if you only want, like, one switch to be activated, you could just leave the power on and just flip the switch. But if you have, like, a, an entire overhaul that you want to be doing with your uh, model here, then you definitely want to turn the power off, do what you need, and then flip it back on so you only get two lag spikes. But uh, you can do it in smaller scale if you'd like. I wouldn't recommend the scale that I have now, but you can do it in smaller scale so that you're only blocking off a corridor or so. And in fact, if your corridor is only like three tall and up to about two wide, I would just suggest using pistons themselves and just sort of positioning two on top and two on each side that way you get a three by two or you can use two on the bottom as well to make it four tall and if you want a hole on the center for shooting through into the hallway beyond you could always make it even taller or wider so if you're planning on using gravel however um, I would only suggest doing it for large hallways such as four wide hallways and the like and that you don't want a window to be showing through unless the hallway is small enough such as too t or yeah too tall that you can just uh, wall it off no matter how high it is but anyway the point is if you can use pistons to make your instant walls do it 
but if you can't gravel or sand is a great alternative that also looks nice in say a uh, desert pvp arena or you know i don't know if you decided you really want to make a gravel based pvp arena however i would not advise um doing it without protection of some sort because otherwise people will most likely just dig through into the uh, redstone underneath because that's what people do whenever they're in a PvP environment. They really don't care about the, you know, the area's sort of well-being. But, um, I'll just do a few demonstrations of what sort of things you can do with this kind of setup with just a hallway that's been divided by three and corners. So let's say we want to turn the entire center area there into a hallway where you can still be sniped from the above from the above um, windows but you can't be hit from the side windows and the side entrances. So what we can do is just flip our middle wall this one this one's already flipped from testing but middle wall the the side walls and the other middle wall and then flip our power switch and now if we come down here we have a large hallway that can provide a bit of protection unless they sort of stand up in the middle of the window and jump but even then you can still be near the edge And next, I think we'll take a look at just the corners. Just the corners. Yes. Oops. I should really turn the power off. That would reduce the lag spikes we're having as everything falls down. Okay, well, activate the corners. pull the power whoa that's awesome alright so then you can have sort of um, I don't know a mosh pit kind of thing going on where everyone just has a slight amount of cover and everyone just pours into the middle I sort of like those kinds of maps although you may want to make the middle area smaller for that sort of thing but I had to make it really wide to accommodate the um, to accommodate the pistons for the middle section of the wall since it required a lot of space to get the wire straight on. Alright, so I think now we'll look at... I think we'll just add the corners to the outside wall to make sort of a area where you can enter from the from the courtyards, the two halves, or you can enter from the hallway, but you still have protection in a lot of places. And it kind of looks nice. So we just have the corners already active, we just need to throw the side walls. Flip the switch. There we have a sort of sort of like an inner bailey almost looks kinda nice provides protection in a lot of places for outside and inside and doesn't let everyone be seen immediately except for their nameplate but you know they're not in the line of fire immediately and allows entrance from all sides <laughs> 